I went to an audition for the St. John's Players, and in walks this man, he, 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 right out of the television set into the room. And he was just as charming and as dapper as he was on television. And he just gives his big smile and he says, Hello, I'm John Lewis. What was interesting about Dad as an, as an actor and being involved in theater was that he was a professional actor by night, and we'd always see him dressed up in costume. And then we'd also see him in the, in the community. So he was always, his approach to arts was always to be engaged and involved at every level. That's the way it's been for me with a lot of these volunteer things. I kind of like thought I would go in and do a few things. Yeah. And next now I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm up to my neck in yeah. mocking bullets. <laughs> so I didn't really know that I was getting, you know, volunteering. I didn't know that I was a volunteer particularly. Uh, one of the things that did, did motivate me originally was that I wanted to, because I, because I was working during the day and being in, th in theatre and, 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 and doing some films, I wanted to try to, to, try to do, do a few more things in the community. I wanted to know more about what was happening. On Boxing Day, John will invite in I don't know how many people, but he'll fill the house. Uh, Magda will cook all manners of curry, and uh, everybody will gather around, and uh, sometimes you know, you're familiar with people because you see them once a year. Uh, and uh, there we all are every year, and it seems like the conversation that we left off last year just continues from that point on. I couldn't do anything without Magda. Magda, Magda has been the person who has uh, enabled me and still is enabling me to do a lot of these to volunteer things because with her, without her help I couldn't be effective in doing it at all and I, and I couldn't have been effective working uh, because she looked after the children for a start in the 60s when, when I was doing you know I do a movie like I was doing uh, well, or anything you know and, and because uh, you know it meant that took a lot of time out from the family. Dad was very much involved with us but he was also a really busy man. He worked a full-time job, more than full-time, and on weekends and evenings he was often acting. And, you know, it was, a lot of it was professional and some of it was volunteer as well. And I, he has incredible energy, he still does. I wish I had John Moyes' energy. In recently, over the last couple of three years, we've made a point of uh, having historic theme dinners. Uh, and uh, he's participated in those and some of those. And, taken, I'd say, quite a dramatic twist. Uh, he likes putting on a costume, and uh, we've done that once or twice, so that's... Uh... He is someone who has time for people, whether it's being asked to do stuff in a work capacity or a friend capacity. He's, he's a very present person. One thing that's, uh, I think, quite fascinating and speaks to his, uh, his passion for the club is that quite independent of anything that uh, we have as a program of, uh, for our archives or whatever, is that he's gone out when he's heard of veterans who've had an association with the place during the war or uh, any time after, um, and uh, gone out seeking their stories. I knew most of the Newfoundland fishermen still do, and you know, they're still my buddies. I see them today and they say, oh, Mr. Myers, you're still, I see you're still alive, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I am. They're always surprised that I look more or less the same as I did 25, 30, 40 years ago, yeah. 50 years ago. And the theatre community here has been such, so, was so welcoming to us that within a year, we had more friends here in St. John's, Newfoundland, and other places, than, than we had in London, and we'd lived there all our lives. Mm. Although I did tell my sister the other day, I, I phoned her up, to, to us, and she, I said, you know, Mari, I've been in Newfoundland now for 50 years, and of course she's, she's a Londoner, and she said, oh no, John, isn't it about time you came home? I said, I, can't, I am home. And I think I'm most proud of my dad, beyond the fact that he's taught us so much about appreciating and being involved in the arts. I'm most proud of my dad because his he believes in giving back to the community. It's his modus operandi. Uh, and it, it infuses the people that he's around and encourages them to be involved as well. They cast me in all kinds of Newfoundland things. I was, I was the come from a way mm -hmm. that they could, if, they, if any, anything, anything that wasn't Newfoundland, you know, everything that didn't have a Newfoundland accent, 
they give it to me to do. It's the ideal award to honor someone like John Moyes because he is that person who is there for people, has energy, has time, and the intelligence too. He has something to say. And interesting enough, you know, that I, I'm, I'm thinking about the, because of this award, this, this Leslie Yeo Award, who was a wonderful guy and such a, such a thrill for me to have Leslie Yeo Award because Leslie Yeo is an I, icon for us here and, and not just for me and for, and for, and for Newfoundland, but, but, but also for all the performers in Canada, because he, he, he was an important guy for us all. When I first joined in 1968, when everybody joined here, uh, I decided to, to put a certain amount you know, to, to, into, into my RSP fund through, through ACTRA. I thought, because I'm not a financial person, and, and I think most, most, most performers are busy doing their thing, and, uh, and sooner or later, if you put a little away, down the road, yes, it's going to come in very handy. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's what I did, and uh, and uh, and I, I've lived long enough to to reap the benefits, as you say. So you know, it's just a thrill, you know, to you know, to be an old actor and still be wanted. <laughs> <So>. <laughs>